Hi, I'm Jim Kleinpeter, LSU beat writer for NOLA.com, the Times-Picayune. I'm with columnist Ron Higgins, and it's uh, Eastern Michigan week. Um, not uh, the, the best team on LSU's schedule. In fact, they're the uh, 127th ranked and last ranked uh, uh, rushing defense in the country going against probably the best running back. Uh, but before LSU gets on to that, they've got some work to do on penalties this week. 14 penalties, 120 yards. Cost Leonard Fournette 110 yards. He could have had uh, theoretically 354 yards, uh, 354 yards instead of 244, which would have been a conference record, an LSU record, and and maybe a national record. I'm not sure, but. Uh, a lot of work to do on penalties. Some of it was concentration, some of it was noise, and some of it was just bad luck. Yeah, it was a little bit of everything. I mean, Les Miles in the press conference today talked about it. You know, he didn't see the personal foul penalty on Deion Jones. He the the legal formation penalty. He said both his guys checked with the referee to see if they're on and off the line. So I mean, he's gonna get some answers from the SEC office about that. That said, there were a ton of you know just you know jumping b before the snap. A lot of it had to do with the noise. Ethan Postick said it was even noisier than Mississippi State because in the dome, the noise never quit. And he said it did cause, did cause problems. That said, this is a perfect week for LSU. Eastern Michigan is a perfect opponent for them. It's like having uh, an in-season exhibition game to work out all the problems you had last week, to perfect and get rid of all the penalties, to, you know, to play sharp, to play clean. Uh, in a way, in some ways, if LSU plays where they're supposed to, I kind of feel sorry for Eastern Michigan because LSU wants to come out and execute perfectly. Uh, as Vidal Alexander said, you know, we like, to, we like to get Leonard Fournette through the line clean with nobody touching him. That's what we shoot for every time. I have a feeling this week you might see that a lot because this is the worst rush defense in America against the best college football running back in America. Yeah, that's right. And you know what I think may happen is that Fournette will uh, uh, probably uh, – get held up at about 15 or 16 carries this week. Uh, 28 uh, or 26, but you had the two that were nullified, so you throw in 28 as far as uh, wear and tear on his body. He had 29 against Mississippi State. He's averaging almost 25 a game, and I think that might be a little high for this early in the season, and, and they don't want they want him to get to November where he's not too beat up. So I think maybe this week we'll see a little bit more Brandon Harris. We saw him a little bit more. Uh, last week, um, he made a couple of nice throws in big, big situations. So uh, this is a chance for to rest Leonard Fournette a little bit and maybe give Brandon Harris a chance. Brad Harris was was excellent last game. I mean, he came up with big plays on almost every scoring drive. He uh, he had six plays where he could, he could where he passed for first downs and four of them were on third down conversions. And the clutch, you know, drive at the end where he completed two straight passes and took LSU from like a third and 13 at their, at their zone 30-something to the end zone in two plays. And that's, that's what Brandon Harris can do for you. Okay, that's, uh, that wraps it up for today. Uh, I'm Jim Kleinpeter for Ron Higgins. Uh, we'll see you on NOLA.com.